what is going on guys how are we all doing i hope we're all good indeed so <coughs> as i said in my last video i'm only really going to be doing reviews every now and then when the moment takes me so obviously if you don't know if you're only on the land of youtube at our channel we as the bakery have just moved into a new shop and it is absolutely gorgeous go and check out our facebook and instagram for pictures of it it is beautiful links will be down there um but been setting up this space which is a little bit of a like um backdrop for live shows that i do on the wednesday and any other live shows just a little bit of a space in the shop you know for us since i'm in work may as well have a little bit of a space in that since i've got a bigger shop and i thought Let's go and do a little review. So, in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at this. It is the Geek Vape Aegis Boost. It is something that I have on me at pretty much all times. It is absolutely fantastic. It really is. This is the box that it comes in. Inside that box, you do get some coils. You do get a charging cable and um, a couple of books that you're probably never going to look at. So... We're not going to drop it down to the table. We're not going to do a proper um, table camera because I'm not set up for it. I'm not prepared for it. Here is another one. This is my one. Here is another blue one. Taken straight out of that box in the shop. So, when you get the kit, you've got a removable 2 milliliter pod on the top. Um, it does have a little bit of a bung in there. You can't jimmy a screwdriver inside of that to pop out the bung um, pretty easy to do sometimes it might break if it breaks just get a little bit of super glue and glue it back together easy to change the coils the always always you know, one of the things that does my head in about working in a vape shop when things are brand new everything is super stiff it's absolutely super stiff so let me get this you do get a 0.4 ohm coil pre-installed it is a mesh coil it has got a recommended wattage of it says on the bottom actually on these ones it says on the bottom um, it is 0.4 ohms it's made out of canthal and it is best used between 25 and 35 watts when it comes out i don't know how well you can see that on there yeah it should be all right two little race ads when you take it out and put it in, make sure you just pop it up like that. Make sure it lands up. If it's not lined up, it's going to leak out on you and it's not going to make a proper connection. Slot it back in like so. Fill it up through this little tabby, tabby job up on there. Nice and easy to get in. It is a much, much, much needed improvement from a lot of these little plastic poddy flap things. Um, a lot of them smock nod, bad for it. The Vupu, whatever the Vupu RPM40 was called, Vinci. Maybe the Vupu Vinci, I'm not too sure. Um, that was really bad for it. It ripped off all the time. I've not had this with this. You do have adjustable airflow on the top. It looks a little bit like a smiley face. It is not the fire button, this blue thing here. It is the fire button. It does have a little screen in there, but obviously there is no battery in this one. It's a single 18650 battery dead easy to come across got a little up a little down button just on the sides there on the base of the fella ah having fingernails is hard for this as well or not having fingernails rather base of it you've got a little screw pop that out color coordinated on the inside there you do have a little positive and you do have a little negative on there not that you can see it very well at all um, Obviously, the battery goes up into it, positive up. To turn the device on, it is... Turn off. One, two, three, four, five. You get a little thunder and lightning bolt. If you put it in the middle of your head, you can pretend you're Harry Potter, if you want to do that. Um, it goes up to 40 watts. It goes all the way down to 1 watt. If you hold the plus and the minus buttons together it locks if you hold un hold them not together it unlocks if you hold the power and the up button together it does the brightness of the screen up if you do it down it brings it down click the fire button three times you can go through power 
temperature control stainless steel, all your temperature control mods, modes, VPC, I'm not going to lie, I don't really know what VPC is, I think it's like a custom curve, so like you can start to pull on like 21 watts, go to like 27 watts, drop down to 3 watts if you want, I think that's what that is, correct me down in the comments if I am wrong, three clicks to access the menu, and then you go into bypass, what bypass mode is, it basically acts like a mechanical mod, it uses the voltage that's left in your battery, times by the um, resistance in your coils, I think that's correct, again, let me know if it's not, and then that will determine the wattage. So at the moment it's firing at 3.9 volts, I've no idea what the watts are on, that feels like about 20 watts. Three clicks to get back into it, go back into the power, and you can change your um, puffs on it as well. On this code one, I've had 2719. It's got a couple of little things on the menu if you can see that. I'm not too sure. But yeah, that's less of an up close and personal and more of what I would do with someone when they bought the kit from the shop. Go through it like that a bit. I like that. Happy days. So that's pretty much everything to do with that. This part of the video is where I'd flip it back up and go back to my face. But we've not left my face. <laughs> Have another little swig of duty. This is a Tesco over the road from the new shop, and it's just got like a sign on loads of like decent beers. Yeah, big bottle of beer for like 150. I'll have that all day. So, where's my one? That's not my one. This one's my one. Said about the bung earlier on. Just have a little. Uh, little compare hey, this way so this one here this one is my one this one is that I can see how much clearer it is because the bum's being taken out on it um, and it is sound to do so I'd say if you do give it a little break just put a little bit of super glue on it make it work nice and much or failing that you can buy one from somewhere I'm not sure where from but you can buy one just hack it <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? It makes more sense, doesn't it? So yeah, the bear with me. Right, okay, I got locked out of the menu there. So the Geek Vape Aegis Boost. I really like it, it is solid, I've bounced mine off a couple of walls, from, this is my second one, I don't know if you remember from previous lives and stuff like that, did have a couple of elastic bands on it, um, because I dropped it a couple of times, completely my fault, but either the back or the front of it warped slightly and the pod wouldn't sit in um, perfectly, I'd have to keep on wedging it back in, it was a massive pain in the ass, so I've got this blue one instead. Um, to give you full pros and cons, I love man. Annette didn't like hers at all, which so this is her one, to be fair. She was like, I'll have that. Do you know what I mean? So it's like there's a fairly biased opinion. I really love everything about it. The bung, I understand why the bung's there it's to reduce the capacity of the pod. But like, why make it so black? Like, make it white like every other pod and give you a bit more of a chance to see what's actually in there because it's quite hard to see how much liquid you've got with the bung in there also it's a nightmare to fill her up with that bung in as well so geek vape sort your bung ideas out it would make life well easier um the power is sound oh someone came into my shop there the power is sound it goes 40 watts it lasts for like a day and a half personally um depending on what battery you've got and how much you use it it might last up to two days for some people that just depends on how much you use it, you know what I mean? Menu is super easy, all the options and that, they're super easy to get into. Dead easy to fill up, the flavour of the coils, some of these coils, man, I, same as the original Boost, I'm not, I can't even remember if I've done a review on it, but the original Boost, <coughs> um, it's the same coils as that, and I have a coil that gave me like two and a half thousand pulls. From over time of using it, the coils are a little bit hit and miss, to be fair. 
most of the time they are brilliant but every now and then you're only going to get like four or five days off it rather than like the week and a half that i was getting off them originally but four or five days especially if you're using really sweet juices you can't complain at that whatsoever um what don't i like about it what don't i like about it there's not an awful lot that i don't like about it to be fair um it is a little bit of a con maybe it's normal standard micro usb it is not micro usb c which gives faster safer charging and um, but really as always you should really be charging all your batteries in an external charge you can get them fairly cheap get them for like a tenner like we sell them for a tenner do you know what i mean um but yeah that's pretty much everything on the boost it's got no cons really the feel of it like it's solid you know it's there it's got a good weight to it nice and grippy quite comfy to use as well comes in a range of different colors um there's this one the blue there's a black one there's a red one there's a rainbow one and probably a million more if you do get some of these as well why have one of my lights just went off my computer's just died so that's why my lights just went off ah that makes sense and um, if you do want to get one of these or anything from the ages line go and hook up to my mate jay at custom ages skins and you can find them on youtube as hooked on funk and he's all over instagram and facebook as well custom ages skins and it's just this little bit of leather here nice little bit you can do whatever you want whatever in it just make it a little bit more you do you know what i mean there's a free plug that's a free plug you can have that one jay right that's pretty much everything i can do with this geek rate boost it's a boss little bit of kit to be fair so thank you very much for watching I really enjoy doing this, it's proper off the cuff and um, I don't think I'm going to be doing much editing to it at all either which is easy, it's editing that does me editing the most about doing videos, it's so time consuming but yeah, thank you very much for watching guys and um, it is fun talking to you guys every now and then, you know what I mean, I do miss you I'll see you all very very soon, I hope lockdown 2 is not too hard for you I hope all the small independent businesses that are out there um, especially the vape shops do all right through it i hope you all survive i hope people don't struggle too much because it is a horrible little thing but it's got to be done do you know what i mean thank you very much for watching guys big love to the lot of you and i'll see you in the next video bye